It's a prank! Hello world, this is Coco Martek and in this video, we are going to review Samsung's A71. So welcome back to another episode of TT with Coco Martek. Let's start with the build quality. So, ang build niya is made from plastic and it feels premium kahit plastic siya. Medyo hawig niya yung S20, S20 Plus, and S20 Plus Ultra. So, kung gusto niyo yung phone na mukhang latest phone na gamit niyo, this one's a good choice for you. Meron siyang dimensions na 163.6 by 76 by 7.7 millimeters, 179 grams. At the front, you have the Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and yung gilid and yung likod niya is made from plastic. But again, it still feels premium, so kahit plastic siya. And kit ng kita sa design na to. So this was the black. Meron kang ibang color variants like the blue, the pink, the crushed black, and the silver. Gustong gusto ko yung kulay niya. Kasi parang premium talaga yung feeling niya. So kapag may light na nag uh, tumama sa, sa likod, even though hindi siya glass, para nagre-reflect yung kulay niya to, into different colors. So, may combination ng green, red, and blue depending sa angle ng phone. Depending sa angle ng pagtama ng ilaw sa likod. Dual SIM din siya and pwede ka maglagay ng micro SD card up to 512GB of storage. At the right side of the phone, you have the volume rocker and the power button wherein the power button is below the volume rocker. Medyo nasanay kasi ako na nasa taas yung power button dahil Google Pixel yung gamit ko. Pero since second phone ko to and pa palit palit ako between the Google Pixel and this one, medyo nalilito ako. Pero if you're going to use this one as your solo phone, I think it's not going to be a problem. At the top of the phone, you have a microphone input. At the left side, you have the SIM card tray. At the bottom of the phone, you have a mono bottom firing speaker. You have your USB Type C for charging, which is great. And mommy, I did discuss natin yung charging speed. And you also have the 3.5mm headphone jack port, port. <laughs> headphone jack port, which is nice kasi uh, like me ginagamit ko pa rin, like this one. So as of filming this video, I'm using a lapel mic kung saan diretsong nasi-save dito sa Samsung A71 ko, which is useful for me. Medyo mabigat siya, kaya premium feeling pa rin yung, yung feeling niya. <laughs> Dahil malaki yung battery, which we will discuss later in the video. Next, let's talk about the display of the Samsung A71 or the screen, which is one of the best in the market right now. It's amazing for media consumption such as watching videos, watching Netflix, watching YouTube, or even playing games. So kahit may punch hole siya sa uh, upper center of portion of the screen, hindi siya masyadong nag sa uh, gaming experience or sa watching experience. And masasanay ka na rin naman over time. Hindi naman siya ganon kalaki, although it's bigger than the S20. Overall, I really enjoyed the display. For me, it's the best feature of the phone. It's a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED screen made by Samsung. Meron siyang 87.2 screen to body ratio, so konti lang talaga yung bezels. I really recommend this phone kung gusto mo talaga yung the best screen in the market. Of course, may mas maganda pang screen dahil sa S20 and yung mga ma higher refresh rates pero mas mahal na kasi yun and it's another topic but if your budget is within the price range for this phone uh, i really recommend this one kung pinaka importante sa is yung quality ng screen one thing that i really noticed with the phone is payat yung screen niya and yung build ng phone dahil meron siyang aspect ratio na 20 by 9 so it's better for media consumptions yung mga cinematic movies natin and yung mga 16 by 9 na usual natin sa YouTube, magkakaroon siya ng mga black bars sa left and right. Pero you can also pinch the display para mag para magfit doon sa screen. Medyo nag-adjust ako dahil sa aspect ratio ng 20 by 9 dahil nasanay ako sa mga previous phones na mas mataba ng konti dito sa Samsung A71. The Samsung A71 has the Android 10 and One UI version 2. So, meron siyang processor na Qualcomm 730G. It's not the best processor within the price range. Kung pinaka mabilis na phone yung hanap mo and your price range is uh, with this price range, uh, I think it's better to find another phone. Pero if you want the overall phone na good processor, good camera, which we will discuss later in the video, and the best display, I think this one's for you. 
And for me, wala naman ako naging problema masyado sa quality ng processor or nung bilis ng phone. Nagka problema lang ako nung sobrang tagal ko na maglaro ng Mobile Legends and Call of Duty. Kasi mahilig ako maglaro sa phone ko since quarantine and bawal lumabas. Kaya medyo may init yung phone kapag matagal ka na naglalaro and naglalag siya. Pero kung casual games or kunwari naka 3 games ka lang sa Mobile Legends, hindi naman siya maglalag. And lahat ng settings in, is in a full settings. So right now, lalagay ko sa screen yung experience ko while playing games with the Mobile Legends. And you can also add me, ilalagay ko yung MLID ko in the screen. Kapag in-add nyo ako sa Mobile Legends, huwag nyo lang i-expect na bubuhatin ko kayo. Although, hindi naman ako noob, pero hindi naman ako pro, so sakto lang. Hindi naman ako natatrash talk ng kape kasi ayaw ko yun. Anyway, this one is the Asphalt 9. Sa Asphalt 9, lahat ng graphics is in high. And although hindi ko masyadong nalaro ng matagal yung Asphalt 9, wala akong naging problems whatsoever when playing this one. No lags or frame bugs whatsoever. And ang naging uh, nag-break lang talaga ako sa Mobile Legends kasi buong araw ako naglaro. Next is Call of Duty and this game is my favorite right now. Yung experience ko is amazing dahil uh, naka-maximum -ma lahat ng graphics and Again, malaki yung screen, so malaki yung real estate for playing games, screen real estate for playing games. And wala rin ako na-experience na lag or frame drops whatsoever. Matagal din ako naglaro. Although, nag-overheat ng konti, uminit ng phone yung konti, pero since dahil matagal ako naglaro, I expect ko naman na mag-overheat siya or mag-iinit yung phone. Sa Call of Duty, kahit matagal ako naglaro, hindi siya naglag as compared sa Mobile, sa mobile Legends na naglag talaga kapag nagka-clash. Kaya kailangan ko magpahinga and uh, pahinga ko naman yung mata ko dahil puro talad na ako. <laughs> meron siyang 128GB of internal storage and 8GB of RAM. And meron siyang Adreno 618. It's a great GPU for playing games. So kahit anong games na iba to mo sa phone, kayang-kaya niya. And meron siyang 2.2GHz and 1.8GHz speed. And octa-core siya. And wala akong naging experience na lag sa pag swipe lang ng phone. I know may history yung Samsung na kapag tumatagal yung phone, naglilag siya. Pero I've only had this since February 3. So mga 4 months ko pa lang gamit to. And since bago pa lang siya, relatively hindi pa masyado maglilag. Pero I'll let you know in the future kung after 1 year or 2 years kung maglilag na siya. Of course, sa pag social media, pag browse ng social media, pag Facebook, pag Twitter, pag Instagram, wala akong naging problema. Ate ka sa Twitter, ate ka sa Instagram, ate ka sa TikTok, ate ka sa YouTube, ate ka sa LinkedIn. This one's for you kasi, again, maganda yung display, so maganda experience. Next, let's talk about the cameras of the phone. Meron kang 4 rear lenses. 4. So, habang tumatagal, dumadami na yung mga lenses ng ating phones. And maybe in the future, baka puro lens na lang yung sa likod ng phone. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, for the rear lenses, you have a 64 megapixel main lens. You have a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, which is my favorite because it's very helpful for my uh, real estate videos, real estate photos. You have a 5 megapixel macro lens, which is hindi ko masyadong ginagamit, pero if you use it, it's very fun. So, kung mahilig kayo mag picture or ng mga close up, that's a nice option to have for a phone. You also have the 5 megapixel for your depth sensor, or yung tinatawag natin mga portrait modes. Here are the sample photos taken by the Samsung A71. You also can take videos up to 4K, 30 frames per second, but yung stabilization niya for 1080p videos lang. So kung mas prioritize niyo yung stabilization, magiging 1080p yung videos niyo. Pero kung mas prioritize niyo yung quality na video niyo, uh, you have the option to use the 4K. Meron ako ginawang separate video with vlogging using the Samsung A71, which 
you should watch later after watching this video. Uh, all I can say is na maganda yung quality talaga ng video niya. I think na mentioned ko na 2K yung videos yan. So kung sinabi ko 2K, 4K yung videos niya na talaga. Anyway, makikita nyo doon na maganda talaga yung quality, especially the ultra wide lens. Though kapag 4K, medyo shaky nga siya. Mas maganda sa ano kung may 4K stabilization. Pero I guess you can't have it all for a mid-range smartphone. Pero promise, I really enjoy the quality of the video using the Samsung A71. Minsan naisip ko na nga na huwag ko nang gamitin tong Sony camera ko kasi parang mas convenient talaga dito sa Samsung A71 and okay naman yung quality. So, kung naghahanap talaga kayo ng vlogging phone and maganda yung <laughs> ulit, maganda yung screen display and everything, magandang option tong Samsung A71. So again, pwede nyo panoorin later yung vlogging with A71. But now, here are sample videos taken by the Samsung A71. You also have Bluetooth 5.0 with the phone and wala akong naging issues whatsoever with this phone connecting to wireless earbuds, connecting to the car. For the charging speed based on my experience, charging one hour will give you 52% of battery which is okay. It's not the fastest na mga VOOC charge ng Oppo, Vivo and everyone na merong super fast charging. Pero it's not the slowest either so parang okay lang talaga siya in terms of charging speed. Pero yung battery performance, okay siya. Meron siyang 4,500 mAh of battery. And based on my experience, meron na akong mga average uh, screen on time na mga 5 hours. Minsan umabot ng 6 hours depending on how you use this phone or how you use your phone. For me kasi marami akong ginagawa sa phone ko. Ginagawa? <laughs> marami akong ginagawa sa phone ko. Parati ako ang naglalaro ng Mobile Legends. Laro and uh, gusto gusto nyo talaga na maganda yung battery performance ng phone mo. This is a great option. Kasi nakakatulong na 1080p screen siya. Hindi siya 2K screen, 1080p. So, hindi masyadong madami yung pixels na nire-render ng phone. Tapos, AMOLED screen pa siya. So, yung mga blacks. Black talaga siya. Hindi siya gumagamit ng pixel parang sa LCD screen. Maganda talaga yung battery performance siya. Again, I've had this phone for only 4 months. Kaya yung battery health niya, health niya maganda pa rin. Maybe in the future, I'll make a 1 year later video for the Samsung A71 para i-inform kayo kung okay pa rin yung battery health niya, battery performance niya. So, that's it for my review. And uh, kung may mga questions kayo kung gumagamit kayo ng A71, comment down below. And uh, ano sa tingin niyo yung magandang phone na kalaban nitong A71? Comment down below. And uh, kung nagustuhan niyo yung shirt ko, <laughs> comment down below. It's not a sponsored video whatsoever by Samsung. So lahat ng mga comments ko about the phone, lahat ng reviews ko about this phone is based on my personal criticisms. Pero kung may option ako na isa lang yung phone ko, okay lang sa akin tong A71. For example, hindi na ako gumagamit ng dalawang phone separately for my Globen Smart and uh, hindi to sponsored video. Pero baka naman Globen Smart. Okay na okay sa akin gamitin itong phone lang na to. So that's it for this video and uh, I hope na enjoy nyo rin yung intro and thank you for Rock, Roxanne. Rock. Roxanne. <laughs> Thank you, Roxanne, for being my uh, ghost in the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on that bell button para ma notify pa kayo sa mga marami pang tech videos. Keep safe, everyone, and uh, I'll see you in my next videos.